hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys I'm going to guide you how to troubleshoot and fix this issue this site can't be reached so when I try to search google.com as well as the facebook.com these are not working even in any other websites these are not working so in this video I will show you five steps to troubleshoot this issue and how you can fix this issue so we will go one by one to fix this issue in these five steps step number one is run the windows troubleshooter and that is network troubleshooter before jumping any other fixes you should try the first option that is network troubleshooter in windows in build feature in windows 10 and 11 so on the search you need to type a troubleshoot and once you search here you should be able to see the troubleshoot settings and in order to get it better just open the control panel also and search here the large icons if it is selected like this select here the large icons so once you search the network troubleshooter you should be able to see additional troubleshooter in windows 11 it should be showing up other troubleshooter click on that option and once you click on that option you should be able to see network connections this will fix and find troubleshoot the issue related to the connection and connectivity issue on your windows just wait for the detect the problems and troubleshoot my connection to internet just click on that option and it will try to detect your issue and will try to fix your issue this will check if it is connecting to DNS your windows DNS setting is running or the internet related windows services are running or not and see if that fix your issue or not as you can see here it couldn't fix my issue and it also give me the error let me retry it if it fix the issue or not it doesn't fix the issue so let's move on to the next method close this and you have to move on to also next method now in this method guys sometime what happens DNS does not resolve your query so it's better to get the Google DNS as well as the Cloudflare DNS in your entries so how to enter your Google DNS and you have opened the control panel here we need to go to here network and sharing center click on that option additionally you can press windows plus r button together open the run command and type for ncpa.cpl this is the shortcut command to directly jump into connected net network area and from from the control panel you need to click on this option change adapter settings so both the steps are same change adapter options as well as ncpa.cpl so once you have come to this page you need to go to your connected network let's say this is my Wi-Fi I have connected with this network so you need to do the same with connected network do not click anywhere on your windows just go to connected network so right click on your connected network go to its properties it could be LAN or ethernet or Wi-Fi then you need to click on this option internet protocol version 4 and go to its properties now if any manual IP is entered here already just select the option obtain an IP automatically and inside here guys just choose the option use the following DNS address so the Google DNS is 8.8.8.8 press tab key or enter here and alternative will be 8.8.4.4 so this is the google dns just hit the ok button close this and now reload the website and check if we fix your issue or not if it also doesn't help you and unable to fix your issue go to again same page go to its properties again go to this option and remove this entry from here this time 
and we need to enter the Cloudflare DNS here. Cloudflare DNS is 1.1.1.1 and press the enter key. These two are public DNS and see if your issue is fixed or not. So as you can see here issue is still not fixed guys so we can move we can do a couple of more options here as well right click on it go to its properties and internet protocol version 4 and choose this time obtain DNS automatically if it was not selected it will be selected but choose this option and click on OK this is the third step in this video okay and click on OK and see if that resolve your issue or not if still not resolve your issue open again the same page and this time untick the IPv6 version here so these days IPv6 is popular but you can try it out just untick the IPv6 version here and then click on OK and see if that fix your issue or not if still doesn't fix your issue this step so just do it back to default internet protocol version 6 take this option and click on apply and close this so this should fix your issue if it is related to DNS and resolving the your DNS query if it doesn't fix your issue this time we will check the computer proxy in our system so open the system proxy just we need to search here proxy settings and open the system proxy settings and from here guys if any manual entry is here okay if any manual entry is here just untick this option and tick this option automatically detects settings okay once you select that uh, close this and see it has fixed the issue since sometime what happens that proxy settings doesn't allow our request to go to the internet so there is the problem so it should fix your issue now if there is any manual entry similarly you can go with Windows 11 just have a proxy setting and same setting you should able to see on Windows 11 as well see here if any manual entry is there if like this un untick this save and detect automatically setting and this will hopefully fix your issue if your issue is still not resolved and you are unable to fix this issue guys so we have to move on to the na next method that is advanced method we will reset our network settings so how we can reset our network settings so, so open the control panel simply from here in order to go to the step number four and we will reset the, all the settings to defaults so from this windows we need to look for internet options you can also search here internet options and click on that option and from here we need to go to advance this option and click on restore advanced settings and click on apply and also go to the security option and if restore all the zones to is highlighted just select this option click on apply click on ok and also just select this option also clear SSL state and click on apply and now we need to right click on our Wi-Fi and right click OK open the network internet settings and we need to scroll down and look for network reset click on reset now and make sure you remember your Wi-Fi password since you have to enter the Wi-Fi password here similarly with Windows 11 just open this and click on advanced settings and then you should able to see the network reset option here then click on reset now and click on yes 
and once you click on yes option you have to reboot your system and re-enter your Wi-Fi after that like this oh, as you can see here Wi-Fi is got disconnected you will see this prompt your window will be shut down in five minutes and you have to again re-enter the Wi-Fi all the Wi-Fi passwords here and it will restore your setting to original defaults and it will fix your issue if your issue is still not resolved guys I have the last fix for you that is check the host file entry sometime the host file entry can cause the issue so in order to open that we need to open the notepad as right click administrator hit yes button and click on file then click on open then go to your C drive where the window has been installed and open the windows then click on S open the system 32 then click on drivers open the drivers this option then etc and from here select the all files and open the host files and if there is any manual entry here let's say I have selected here facebook.com if any entry is selected here with this hash and then entry just remove them all the entry and do the same I have here only two entries should be here localhost and only one entry should be here do this same setting and they have also given the example additional success then click on file and click on save once you save that it will be saved and check back if your issue is fixed or not so these steps hopefully resolve your issue guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share also you can join the membership so thank you thanks for watching